Hello and welcome to our series of converting from the report to uh, thesis format. Okay, before I start, let me remind you that during PSM1, we created a PSM1 report using the IEEE format. So based on the requirement for PSM2, in which you have to create um, your thesis. Therefore, um, today I'm going to show you how to create it. So first, um, let me explain. Okay, this is um, the template of format that which I already edited based on what you need to put from your PSM1 report to uh, thesis format. Okay, this template initially is taken from UMP thesis, which is written by masters and PhDs. So I took the template format and then I revised based on the um, content that you need to put it inside. Okay, now first foremost, okay, here is the title page in which you have to edit your title in and then followed by your name and your degree name. Then, let me scroll down. Okay, please make sure that you edit this, I or we. That means if you have two supervisors, it's two. But for all students, you only have one supervisor. Therefore, please um, edit accordingly and according to your degree name and then uh, make sure you write your correct supervisor name and also your co-supervisor name if you have. If you don't have any co-supervisors, delete the portion off. And then comes in the student's declaration. Please make sure you put your declaration, type written and then signet, signed. I'm advising you to use digital sign as it will help you during your printing of your thesis. Okay, next is the title page in which you need to have the title, your name, and then fulfillment of what degree, and then please make sure you edit the month and year. And then please make sure you edit the acknowledge acknowledgements. For those who are under scholarship, make, make sure you mention your um, sponsors. And then please make sure to mention those who have helped you in completing the thesis. And then abstract is written in Malay version and English version. And then this is table of content in which if you right click, you can update the field and then it will update all the fields. Okay. Okay. Now this is a list of tables. If you use insert captions, it will update it here or if you can edit it manually. So you have list of tables, list of figures, list of symbols, if any. If you don't have, remove the page and list of abbreviation. So list of abbreviation are abbreviations the, or terminologies, shortened terminologies used inside your thesis. So please make sure you um, put it accordingly starting from the earliest alphabet which is A until Z. And then you have list of appendices in which um, in this case, for Appendix A will be uh, SRS, Software Requirement Specification Document for the BCS students and also uh, Software Design Document also from, from the um, Bachelor of uh, Computer Science, Software Engineering students. Okay, Chapter 1. Now we are at Chapter 1. If you notice, you have 1.1 Introduction. That means Introduction here is refers um to the introduction of your project which is already inside the um psm1 report you just copy from it and just paste it here and then make sure you check the formats and also the spacing between sections and then followed by background of the problem in which you also have already mentioned in your psm1 report please put it inside here and then The background of the problem also includes the problem statement. Okay. And then it's followed by objective. 
which is also inside your report. Therefore, just um, write it there, the three objectives. And then scope, you do, do not have inside your PSMM report. Therefore, please mention the scope here. Okay, scope means the boundary of your project. Okay, not the limitation of the project. Okay, and then you have thesis organization or in which you have to mention chapters one, for instance, chapter one explains about what? So you have to mention in one paragraph for each chapter and then followed by the next chapter. You have to explain what are the as a discussion made in each chapter. This is to show the organization of your thesis. You also can make some um, modification depending on your supervisor's um, approval. Okay? Because at the end, the marks or the evaluation for the thesis is done by the supervisor. Okay, next is chapter 2. Okay, chapter 2. You have the introduction of the chapter in which you have to explain what is this chapter all about. So if you notice, the chapter name should be Literature Review. So when you say Literature Review, that means this will show the related works of your project. Therefore, the first thing in 2.1 introduction is explaining what is Literature Review done in your work okay for instance let's say okay this uh, section explains on the related works of this project there are three projects related to this uh, work and then a comparison is done for this work so simple but effective that means it explains the overall content of this chapter okay next is 2.2 which is the related work. If you notice, you already done this in your PSM1 report. That means you already store it down all the three related works. What you do is you, form, you copy the content from there, the paragraph, and then you paste it here. Okay? Done. So that's done for 2.2. And then 2.3 is the comparative analysis. That means in your PSM1, you did the comparison using the table. So here, you just copy, you just here, what you do is you copy that table from the report and then you paste it here. Simple. You see? And then finally, chapter summary is you have to explain what has been explained in this chapter and what is the plan for the next chapter. For instance, this chapter has showed the related works of this project. And then you mention the just mention the three three little works, and then you tell that the next chapter will explain on the methodology of this work. That's it. Okay, so that's the conversion from chapter two to this is a format from PSM one report. Now we're heading towards the chapter three. There will be slight difference for software engineering students and also um, graphic and networks and also network students. Okay, first we go to the introduction. This is similar to the introduction above. That means you have to introduce what you're going to explain in this chapter. And then 3.2 is proposed design and interface. That means in PSM1 report, you already done the proposed design. That means it involves the flowchart, the algorithm, and then you might have explained the data set. Right? So all those things you put inside here. Copy and paste from the report and paste it here. Then you have to add a section of the interface. Okay? For those systems who have interface, just make a screenshot and put the interface there. For those who use tools, the algorithm you learn on the tools, make a print screen and put it inside here. This is to show that the work that you have done. Okay, for the case of um, soft, that, that's for student network and 
graphic multimedia for how about software engineering students number one you have to put the um, SRS and SDD at the um, appendices that's number one so inside there you already have your explanation on the proposed on the proposed design and interface and all those things so here you should write okay you should put there the flow chart at least put the flow chart okay and then explain a little bit on the flow chart which already done in the report and then put a section there that all the details requirement that means just i write it here for you all the detailed design and interface is explained in Appendix A, which is soft. Which is software requirement specification document and in appendix B which is software design description the Q and so and then what you do is you put the STD and the SRS inside the inside the um, appendix okay okay and then we continue for the next section which is hardware and software specification okay please I know it's already inside the PSM1 report just copy and paste it here okay for software engineering student you either can put inside your SRS and mention here it's been mentioned inside SRS or you don't have to put inside SRS but you may you state it here okay it's up to you and then for chapter summary is you already just like the the previous chapter we explain what other things already explained here in this chapter and then mention the next chapter will discuss the result okay now moving towards chapter four okay chapter four is result and discussion let me remind you this is the thing that, that you need to write because this is not inside your psm1 report okay what we do is here there are very simple four sections number one introduction which is you have to introduce um, this chapter that means you have to mention that you're going to discuss the result and also you make an analysis on the result okay next is the result that means you already done your experiments you already done your testings okay you already done um, some proof to show that your um, work is working properly so you can do it by two ways either empirical evaluation or qualitative but you need to prove it empirically okay so um, once here you have to measure all the results you get after you testing use your data either you use your user as your um, the ones tested your system or you use any data set to run your algorithm the result you obtain you have to write down here okay results can be shown in the form of tables or graphs okay you have to show the results and any comparison you think is relevant next in chapter 4.3 you have to discuss the obtained results in section 4.2 Okay, this one you have to show on why you got the results, how you got the results to show that the significance of the result obtained. Okay, you have to highlight, maybe you can highlight the 
uh, drawback, the advantage of you obtaining those results here. Okay, and then finally is the chapter summary. Okay, chapter summary is you summarize this chapter, what you have got and everything. And then you mention the next chapter will conclude this project. And then finally is chapter 5. Okay, we have three sections for chapter 5. 5.1 is objective revisited in which we will show that the mentioned uh, objective has been met. Okay, therefore, here you have to firstly, you have to delete your objective with the content of the thesis. That means, for instance, okay, let's say my the first objective of the project is to study or to investigate the previous work. This has been achieved in which section? Let's say chapter 2, section 2.3. Here we already discussed three works and we already deduced the drawback and the advantage of this work. So, therefore, the objective one has been achieved. Okay, same goes with the other objective. The second objective where it is related in your thesis and your third objective where it is related to your thesis. Okay, and then after that, you have to mention the limitation of your work. That means what hinders the project to be to obtain a better result in which um, this limitation can be used by the new students or your juniors next time to improvise the work. And then future work is suggested solution apart from the solution you already created here. Okay, these two section, which is 5.2 and 5.3 can be used by the students of next generation or your juniors to be precise to improvise the work. And then can be also their uh, PSM title. And then finally, the reference, make sure you follow the right reference, okay? You can use the um, any reference tool such as Mendeley, Zotero or EndNote, but make sure you have all the details here. And this uses the APA um, formatting. So make sure all the uh, reference and citation is being changed to APA. And then finally, the appendices. So you have appendix A, SRS. So make sure all of, uh, sorry, make sure software engineering students put your SRS here and then as, as a, uh, your SDD in appendix B. And then you can create your own appendices based on the materials that you want to put it as appendix. Okay, I hope it helps. Uh, do contact me if you have any question. Anyhow, thank you. So, see you again.